Yeah. You know, and it was just god awful. And like I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> <laughs> pushing this pledger, <laughs> even 48 inches away. <laughs> Why would they? Anyways, so Les Sprinkle, he's standing there and he looks at me, he's just laughing at me the whole time. I'm like, what's this? He's like, welcome to Custodial. <laughs> Thanks, Les. <laughs> Welcome back to Privy. Privy is a podcast about bathrooms. Recorded, if you listen, the keen ear. If you hear that fan, we are back in my church's men's front building bathroom. And I am joined this week uh, by Aaron Luckman. Aaron, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Thank you. <laughs> um, so your, your brother uh, was on the show. He sat right where you're seated, um, and he made a lot of inappropriate jokes at me. I have the power of editing, so if you're, oh, okay. I, I will let you know. If you give me a story and you're like, you know what, actually, that one's not safe, it's okay. easy, okay. super easy. Um, Copy that. Yeah, but uh, I, I know you from I, – I, I struggle in my brain to remember if we met at the school – or if we met via church, um, like I cannot, I was trying to think it out in preparation for this. And I was mm-hmm. like, I don't actually know where I first met you. Uh, we first met at, uh, South Albany high school. Yeah. Back when I was okay. a night custodian. He yeah. needed something real quick and night it was just like a real quick, Hey, all right. And then you turn into yeah. your thing and I went, yeah, and was asked. So I, I hide in my little hole. It and was building six hot. So. Which, yeah, should be building one, but right. whoever made the map, I don't know. Hey. They were on it. Um, so, is was it scary at night there? South Albany? Yeah. No. Really? Because I'm a dude. Well, yeah, but it's still dark. Well, yeah, it, it does get dark out, but we it was pretty well illuminated for the okay. places that I needed to be. Um, I it did. There was only one time where I felt sketched out, which was like uh, yes. there was no other night custodians, and I was turning off all the lights in building one. And for a split second, I'm just like, <gasps> <laughs> hurry, <laughs> hurry down this dark hallway. <laughs> you know, uh, eleven o'clock at night. Oh man, yeah, no, that one would get me. Uh, one of my dreams is to do a multi youth, like four or five different churches, bring their youth groups to south albany okay to that campus and we do like live mafia or like sardines or some sort of big group run around game oh, like a big nerf game yeah or a big nerf game genius that's one of my dreams um i have i have almost all the connections um but no buy-in from no buy-in from the school end yet. I haven't found that yet. Mm. And no buy-in from those outside the school. I've got a couple guys that are like, I'd be totally down, but I don't know. It seems like a liability. And I'm like, yeah, I exactly. mean, everything fun's a little bit of a liability. Facts. Yeah. That's what makes it kind of fun. Yeah. Um, so, uh, but you are, you are a custodian. You're head custodian? Yes. Yeah, very good. How is that? Do you... In- um, being the head custodian versus yeah. being like just a night custodian. Or just, yeah. The man in charge. Oh, um, it's interesting. Um, <laughs> I, it has its ups and downs. Yeah. Um, I'd say the best part is leading the team. I'd have okay. to say I really appreciate my night team. They are phenomenal, do yeah. phenomenal work. They make my job easier so that I can do more of the head custodian stuff. Yeah. Um, and, uh, uh, you're with the public a lot more, Yeah. which was a pretty big transition for me because before night custodial work, I was graveyard shift at a convenience store. Oh, wow. So like, I, you know, I mean, I, I've, I've interacted with people and I'm really good with yeah. people, of course, but, um, it's just like the bombardment of like, all right, going from like three of us working at night to all of a sudden there's like 800 people in the building, you know, while yeah, you're yeah. trying to do your work. It's, yeah, that's crazy. I mean, it, it was, it was on at first. Um, but I really do enjoy it. I like the challenges that it presents and it's pushing me to become not only a better custodian, but a better Christian, a better yeah. man and a better, just a better human being in general. Yeah. That's awesome. So, which is good. That's so. good when work can not bleed over, but like can impact that as well in a positive way. Yeah. Um, it's showing me through the work that I do as a leader, 
areas of my own life, both spiritually and yeah. emotionally, that I need to change in order to be a more effective leader for what God has intended for his purpose. Right. Well, and that's for probably, that probably, I was going to say, that probably spills outside of the school into personal relationships and just, I mean, all sorts of stuff. That, Everything. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be a leader, you have to, there's, you can't lack impeccability with your word. Yeah. Because you do it once, then all of a sudden, <laughs> okay, so you want to hear, yeah. okay, so here's something. Hit me. Not really. So Please when don't. I was, uh, during COVID, um, everybody was in a really bad mood. It was just us custodians at Liberty Elementary School. I walked yeah. by and in the dust, I drew uh, a male body part. Yeah. Um, but that's below the belt, but above yeah. the knee. The, um, the butt crack. And it might have a little hair and it protrudes out. It doesn't So far, in. it's still butt crack. Oh, it? man. No, um, no, I'm just kidding. Okay. I want to paint. Some Anyways, I drew, pro- I, I drew that in the dust. Pro- true. That's- yeah, I, so I, I drew that in the dust, and it just so happens that day the principal was there. Walks by and sees it. Of yeah. course, you know, as soon as they came to me, <laughs> a part of the rules that I stick to is impeccability with your words. Yeah. So if you do something wrong, you say, hey, I own it. So I said, yep, it was me. Yeah. Well, um, yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. Yeah. So, no, but it's good because, like, it's just like, oh my gosh, like, the kids- I think about who I was then versus yeah. who I am now. Yeah. I still have that same kind of humor a little bit. But like, that's good. I'm more because of the position I'm in. I'm aware of that if I do something right. like that, that's right. going to reflect not only on me, right, but all the leadership above me and other head custodians, right. Well, and you like, so I think that's show a valuable them all the respect that they they deserve. Yeah, I think that's a valuable like thing to have is like knowing when to turn that on because like there there's goofy time, you yeah. know, and and to lose goofy time. Well, I think that's one of the troubles with a lot of. Like I work behaviors at the high school and a lot of it is like, hey, we got to get these kids to not be doing this. Yeah. And it's like, or we we teach them how to determine when it is good to be doing this. Yes. Because I mean, this isn't the time for that. Right. Or, the reality is, is like some of these kids, if you tell them, hey, you're never allowed to goof around, mm-hmm. we, we're we setting ourselves up. It's a ticking time bomb. Like yeah. you got to give them the railings this is the space that you can kind of screw around for a half hour yeah. and like gotta be goofy yeah. and be so yeah and, yeah but i think i know that's that's interesting that um, is that's the truth though you are yeah. as a, the more i'm learning to become a better leader the more i understand right. that there's a time and place for what you might like yeah the, the thought that you have right now yeah you know i mean there is a time and a place and so this <laughs> i'm really beginning to learn after the first year of being a head custodian just now like, okay, whoa, 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 slow your brain down. Yeah, yeah. This is not the time for that. Let, right. Let's focus on the right. work part. Or yeah. we can be a little goofy today. Yeah. But uh, I got to be uh, real here that through my faith, um, I feel like I'm at a really good place in where I'm supposed to be right now yeah. as far as growing and evolving and all those things. And uh, you can see God working in the school yeah. just through the cleanliness. That's the, awesome. The staff that don't want to be there because they hate their job yeah. are leaving. The ones who <laughs> see opportunity elsewhere are leaving. Yeah. The ones who want to stay and are passionate yeah. about these kids and want to see yeah. a difference in their futures are sticking around. But before that, the main thing on everybody's mind was pests and cleanliness. Yeah. Well, both of those have been removed and are yeah. gone. That's They're awesome. not problems anymore. Test scores have gone up. Yeah. Um, the uh, uh, we've had received reviews from te- from uh, people outside in the community and yeah. uh, educators that are for the state yeah. have said how warm and welcoming this place is. It's awesome, and that's what we want for yeah. everyone in our community in in, in 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 the community is that we look. If you feel like you're in a place where you're not, yeah, you, it's not good. Come here, you know, feel safe and well. It's kind of like that within the rules. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, um, that like that cleanliness when you walk like that's like setting the tone almost yes i know like for me and and i'm kind of shoehorning a little bit but i'm i'm not when i go to like if you need to take it i can pause you're good oh um if but like when i go to a restaurant and and i am like i sit down and it's like and for whatever reason i think it's psychological but i always have to go to the bathroom like right before i order Mm -hmm. And I go to the bathroom, and the bathroom is a disaster. Yeah. I'm going mm. either. Yeah, I mean, my thought process now in the leadership yeah. role that I'm in is now okay. Either a management is real bad, and they don't want to take care of it, or they yeah. have a lazy employee. Yep, one and, of the two. And, and that's exactly where if, I'm if, at. If they're not going to have the respect for the bathroom, or 
what's going on back there where I can't see. Yeah, what's going yeah. on in the kitchen? Yep. Are they even washing their hands? Yeah. You know, well, like, in my like, that's why I don't like going out to eat either. Yeah. I'm not a huge fan of it. Anymore, if I don't get it to go, I just they're underpaid and understaffed. So yep. like, you're, there's going to be slip ups when you have problem when you do. Well, that. yeah, and and yeah, it's, more profits. No well, in my thing, like I I was I did janitorial for mm-hmm. ten years. And I was the only janitor. It was like a, it was like a four office building complex. Mm-hmm. But like I was the only, and so like that was where I kind of like you're saying I had to take ownership for that stuff of like you know when people walk in here, we got we got to figure out how there's not like just a spill on the side here. Like yeah, it's not super noticeable. I know it's there, and there's probably ten people that walk by it. But you got to clean it. Like it, it's just part of it. Right. Um, I think. I- I think yeah. that if every human being made the choice to take personal responsibility yeah. in a different world, but we, yes. also at the same time, it, it would be training them at a young age. And yep. Yep. We got to start. But I, I, you know, I mean, I think about the behaviors that I learned as a kid growing up and yeah. a lot of them weren't right. Some of them weren't right, you know, and it's like, oh boy, I got to change. Dang yeah. It. Yeah. And that's the hardest work is changing yeah. ourselves. Yeah. I've also noticed this, that when an environment is clean, yeah. you're focused on the task. Yep. So... I've associated in my own life this, that when I allow my my room, apartment, whatever, house, when I let it start to dilapidate, mm-hmm. as soon as that happens, there's something going on in my head and in my heart yeah. that, that I need to work on. Yeah. And instead of working on those things, distracted. I ha- I'm distracted by having <laughs> to keep it clean. Yeah. And so... And how I learned that was from the school. The test yeah. scores go up, have gone yeah. up because the teachers are not distracted by the right. uncleanliness. Right. You know, do you, um, have you ever heard Jordan Peterson? Do you know who he oh, is? Yeah. He, yeah. He's got his Great whole guy. thing about like, when you get up, make your bed yes. every morning, just make your bed. Yeah. Uh, it will be you getting over that hurdle mm-hmm. will set the tone and it's like, Correct. yeah, it's, I um, do not disagree one bit. Right. I also don't disagree on uh, waking up early. Yeah. You know, I mean, I didn't do it before, you know, yeah. and now that I'm doing it, it's, it's 100% worth it. It, I, I, I both hate it and enjoy it. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Where it's like, I'm, I'm a night owl. And so like, uh, I, I, I get up yeah. at four yeah, and I go to bed at like nine, ten ish when I'm, when I'm goofing around a little bit. Yeah. But sometimes, yeah, but it's like, I get so much more done and yeah. I, and I feel like I, I'm have, even though it's not really, but like I have this discipline to start my day. It's like, mm-hmm. We're we're going. There's we're right. not um, the issue. The only problem I've been having lately is, is like, Tom, it's it's it, it, it's getting into that consistency, which is really important for me. Right. That consistency, but also uh, being aware that in those times when it, it's going to be, it's going to be inconsistent. That you just got to let it go. Right. You know, it, it's hard. It's <laughs> heck sometimes <laughs> because like you're just you're you're ready to go, yeah. and then like. Oh, hey, well, we're just going to throw a flat tire at you. So those two meetings that you were going to do, yeah. or whatever it is. It's done. You know, sweet. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. 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 That's, that is tough. No sarcasm. Period. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Um, so tell me a little bit about Aaron Luckman growing up. Uh, oh. I, you, you know, you shared like. I would say I grew up in Albany, Oregon. Yeah. Um, first, right here. Yeah, right here in Albany, Oregon. Um, it was right there off of Knox Butte Avenue. It was a house we had. We were renting um, right off I-5 there. And then we moved to Gary Street, right actually just up the road, right across the street from Bob's Family Market. Okay. It's now yeah. a U.S. market with a gas yeah. station. Yeah, yeah. Um, wow. And then went to Calipuy Middle School, uh, South Albany High School. That's wild. You know, um your local guy. Yeah. Huh. And then I lived in the Portland area for about 10 or 12 years. How was that? Was it, it was probably different than it is now. Um, it's, yeah, it was, Portland used to be like a, de- I, the way I want to describe it is dirty hippie-ish, <laughs> we're cool, you know, we got a good vibe, but it's turned to drugs and trash since yeah. then, in my opinion. No, it you it so I, like I'm, I'm gonna seeing go all the garbage on the hot side of the highway, the spray paint everywhere, tents everywhere. Like no regard for human decency, or you know, like like we're not, crapping in the street. Like, yeah, to, right. Yes, yeah. they're yeah. pooping in the street. Like, come yeah. on, man. Yeah. Like, hey, like, yeah. can we at least provide a? a, a but then they, they, <laughs> they have them, right? I, oh, yeah. I got a picture. I got to show you after this. It's a they, so there's these things. Yeah, there's these things in Portland. They're Portland Loos. It was this big project that the city did. Like, oh, we're going to put up 20 public enclosed self cleaning air quote 
bathrooms in these parks. And I did a thing on it a year or two ago, and we were up in Portland. We went to the zoo, and I, I told Anna, I was like, I got to. Like, this episode's coming out in, like, two weeks, three weeks. I got to go find one of these loos. I got mm-hmm. to check it out. I got to hit boots on the ground. And I picked one out of 20. I picked the closest one, went in. It's a wasteland. Like, there's there's poo stacked out of the toilet, like, almost like six inches up out of the sea. Oh, wow. It is bedlam. I didn't even walk in. I opened it. I went, nope. Took a picture. Walked it away. was the randiest toilet I have ever seen in my entire life. Well, we're two in bathroom. Well, as a custodian. Oh, have... yes. That was my next thing. Okay, yeah. I have a, yeah. Couple, I have a few stories. Perfect. But, uh, that's that's why I'm here. Okay, so <laughs> South Omni men's locker room. Hot. Um, at one point... Up to the up to the rim of where the seat is, it was just all dookie. You were you were custodialing. Yeah, I okay. was a custodian. Yeah. Did you ever contribute when you were when you were a youth? Did you ever contribute to something like that? No. Oh, no. okay, good. Yeah, I'd say the worst thing I did was I was peeling paint off of a uh, a filing cabinet. You know, like oh. I was never really a vandal That's tame. or anything. That's tame. You know, like yeah. I was just like I was a loud mouth like. Why do we have to learn history? Yeah. Uh, what's this c- cursive stuff? I can type faster than I can cursive. Why? Uh, <laughs> yeah, now they know. don't even teach cursive. They, yeah. just, they just skip it. It's amazing to me seeing girls in middle school, their handwriting. It's yeah. like, it's as bad as like I, a first grader. I, it's a, it's right something now, they don't practice. That's it, why. It doesn't get better. Yeah. It, like <clears> our, our son's teacher, he, she told us his handwriting is okay. If you want it to improve, you're going to have to work on it and help. Yeah, and it's like truly that's kind of the path forward for a lot yeah. Of parents, as long as he knows how to read, how to, how to write, like yeah. they're they're giving them the basics. Not yeah. <clears throat> I mean, it's, yeah. communication's great and all, but comprehension's important too. Yeah, yeah. So so no, they had a poo volcano that you. Mm-hmm. So did you have to deal with it? Oh yeah, yeah. And it, it, literally, I just had to keep hitting the flusher, and then eventually it, it, it worked itself down. out. Yeah. Really. Yeah. Oh man, I was afraid that you had to get like. Oh, dude, there was one time, there it was a girl's locker room, uh, probably the <laughs> long end of the baseball bat, that big around, eight, eight inches long, I mean, it was it was a doozy, and like, flushing it, it, it was like a corn cob, it just spun around on the inside, <laughs> I mean, it, luckily it wasn't sticky, because oh it didn't leave gosh. smear marks, um, but, so like, I literally took like a, a, a Slim Jim that used to open a car. And I oh, just yeah, yeah. hacked, just sit there, hack it up, you know, just, just I, look away and just, <gasps> <laughs> I think I'm going <laughs> to, well, I, I tell people, terrible, the, I tell terrible. people the top side of a plunger, it, that's for busting. You just go inverted, <laughs> bust it, flip it back over, plunger down. That's, that's I would rather have a separate tool, separate tool. Yes. Cause okay. like the plunger is for me is like, it's going to solve the situation. Yeah. Like I have confidence that it's going to, but if it's that kind of a situation, I don't want to have to like have to re clean it again. Right. You know, right. Like, have to use like a rags or. And pick you and I'll say you are correct. I'm just lazy, and I'm like, well, I got it okay. here. I'm not going to go find one. I get you. Okay. Yeah. So if I if, yeah, if I didn't have the proper tools, I just walk yeah. away. Yeah. Lunch. You know. Call lunch. Uh, That's lunch right now. But man. Yeah, dude. Emphasis. I. At least when I was a janitor, and I think part of it was... You know what I did today? What'd you do? In the custodial office, I wrote, <laughs> wrote the letters FTS. Okay. In my head, I was thinking faith, trust, support. Yeah. And yeah. The night team comes in and she's like, you're right. F this S. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, I've heard, no, no. I've heard that and F the system is, is the other one yeah. that... Yeah. A lot of teens will... They'll put that under... Yeah, whatever they've drawn. Um, Good. Go enjoy your chaos then. Here's a tent. Go out and live in the woods. Yeah. Well, that, half of them will probably. Wait, wait. Yeah. Um, I like uh, uh, no opening the door and there's food in the fridge. Do you like Wi-Fi, kid? Yeah. Because right. let me tell you what. Let me tell you on days past before Wi-Fi. Oh my gosh! Here's I sound my like an, I sound like an old man so often at the high school. They're just like, it's unbelievable. Mm-hmm. Um, and what? It, you're 29, 28. 30. Yeah. 30 yeah. yeah. Yes. Gosh, I made it. Um, we go back 200 years ago. They were pooping in like a, like a, a trough, basically, they, and dude, used hay. They were pooping in the street. Yeah. In America, less than 150 years ago, the street was the go-to. Wow. Still. It's baffling. Like, 
And that's one of the things doing this show. I've look, I've read about all this stuff, and it's like, really? That's that recent? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. We've only known about Neptune for since 1847. Toilet, toilet papers, like classic toilet papers, mm-hmm. sitting at less, I think, like maybe right around 100 years. Yeah. I'm sitting here going, we had to have been able to figure that out sooner. Like, yeah. That's you, wild. You, you would think, but yeah. we're too I mean, busy getting drunk paper. and laid. Yeah. <laughs> um, so and pooping in the street. <laughs> yeah, dude. They just they did, and then they just dump water down the street, and then it just erodes the whatever like stone that they had put in. It's like it's wild. Um, in Disney, so if you go to Disney World, I don't know about Disneyland. I've never been. I've never been the California version of this. Mickey Mouse's capitalist funland. Um, they have in the America section, the old timey America section, they've got like a brown sidewalk and that's what it's for. That's why they have it is because they used to poo in the street. Wow. It's like a whole thing. Yeah. Um, no way. Yeah. Um, Hold on a second. Yeah. Let me squeeze out this grunty. Yeah. They're like, I'm, I'm late for work. Don't worry. I'll go on my way. What did they use to wipe then? I, I don't think they did. Uh. Either that or they just... I just have the because like, well, dude, think, have you ever had that where like, you, like you're in a rush and you do your thing, but maybe you missed a little bit and then you walk for her like oh, half a yeah, day, yeah, yeah. and missed then you're just like, yes, yes, everybody's missed. I yeah. thought you meant like I didn't even try. I was like, no. I've always tried, even if I'm pulling the sock off and rolling with it. Yeah, for sure. I, I've always tried. Um, but yeah, no, I think the other thing they did was they would poo. No, you're good. They poo in like a bucket. And they yeah. just toss it out in the street. So yeah. then there's just lined with poo. And it's, just, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah, it's wild. One um, more story. Um, yeah, yeah. When please. I was first started as a custodian, when Building 9 just opened up at South Albany High School. <laughs> um, is, this to- post, is this post Fiery Inferno? Yes. Perfect. This is a brand new building. What, like, we haven't, nobody's, no students have been in it yet, right? Before the upstairs bathroom can smell like tobacco, cigarettes, and vape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that how it is now? Oh, yeah, it reeks in there. That's where kids go. Because it's a single stall. They can lock it, be by themselves, and they just... Vape it up in there. Vape, smoke. Why don't they put a smoke detector in there? Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, oh, they... Yeah, they got ways around it. They, yeah. Ah. Yeah. They are so smart. They are. They're... Yep. Anyway, so new building. New building. Um, and one of the construction workers left a nice, tasty log. Yes. And, like... And, and like... So I push the button to flush, and it's... <laughs> like there's no pull on this there's no so i'm like all right so this is like my Son third or fourth God. day you know yeah. like I, i'm just a su- I, I wasn't subbing i just got hired on as a temp okay and um uh less sprinkles all well you go here get the plunger and instead of it being a plunger on like your standard 12 inch piece of wood it was on like a Oh, tw- uh, 38 inch or 48 inch stick with a little tiny plunger on it, right? So I'm standing at a distance, dude. The first time I go, boop, boop, all of a sudden, like the, the aroma just comes out of it after I hit it once, right? Oh. And it just, it, it literally <laughs> enters the nostrils and the, it was like leftover Taco Bell <laughs> with cheese, extra cheese on top of like, I drank too much that night. Yeah. You know, and it was just god awful. And like I'm just sitting there going, <laughs> pushing this plunger, <laughs> even 48 inches away. <laughs> Why would they? Anyways, so Les Sprinkle, he's standing there and he looks at me. He's just laughing at me the whole time. I'm like, what's this? He's like, welcome to custodial. <laughs> Thanks, Les. <laughs> Here, Thanks, your turn. Yeah. No, no. And, and then we just adjusted it so it could. Yeah. Why? Why was the plunger so long? Um, I have do they, no clue. Do they have a reason? For I, 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 I never asked. Maybe it's just to give you some distance away from it, so you don't splash yourself. Gosh, I wouldn't feel like I had enough control of uh, like the plunging process. Yeah, it was just holding it up high. And That's, crazy. Of, uh, That's crazy. That's crazy. But it was, it was a good experience because, and the more. Just like anything in life, the more you're exposed to it, yeah. you like you, you lose that gag reflex right, for right. it and stuff. It's like, oh, this yeah. is normal. Yeah. This is just normal. <laughs> kind of like month 13 of COVID. Yeah. This is why. Yeah. Lockdown, eh, let's do it. It's fine. We're, I love, you know, and I know, oh, it still exists. But I love the people that are like, yeah, we're still in the middle of it. I was like, we're not really, though, because like, I just, we're, we're moving on. Yeah. Like, we, life is, I would say, 90% back to normal. 
Um, yeah, and I think that people are aware of this. Like, you can't fight an invisible monster. Yeah. Like, you can't. Yeah. It, yes. It's There's sorry, always going to be like, something new. Right, and it could be anything. It could be like, right. we found a hangnail that was sitting on a park bench that it had mutated. monkey pox, yeah. and it mutated into giraffe pox. Did you hear about the cat, like, out in... Where was that? There was a cat that had the the, the plague here oh, in Oregon. Oh, wow, really? Yeah. I want to say it was out, like, towards Sweet Home. But I don't know the that plague, for sure. Huh? The plague. Like, Black Plague. Like, like well, what all the people died from, like, back in the medieval days. Yeah. What I do know of that, that it's transmitted through the, the fleas. Yeah. Um, and that... That's why I don't like cats. Yeah, they keep a little bit underneath... But, I mean... If that's tr- if it, if if it is true that there was that out in Sweet Home, uh, I truly believe that with our ability to communicate and stuff, we can oh, stop I, the problem super quick. But yeah, I. But it wouldn't be like you know World War Z or you know like twenty eight days later. I imagine like I feel like we have a solution to the plague now. Yeah. Maybe even like it's not wasn't even, it just meningitis? Or, I have no idea. I think I it was a bacterial sh- infection. I didn't pay attention because if it's a bacterial infection, we have penicillin. That's right. But I don't remember if it was exactly what it was, but it just spread so easily. And it, it was the it was coming from the rats, but it was the blood of the rats, whereas people used to believe it was it's coming the from rats. the rats. Yeah, but yeah, was, yeah, 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 yeah. So, and really um, only, what was it, a hundred like you were saying, 150 years ago is when we started washing our hands on a regular basis. Yeah, I mean, and it was only three years ago that we started to do it for 20 seconds every time. Yeah. <laughs> Everyone's like, COVID, you have to do it for 20. And everybody on the planet is like... Are you sure? Because yeah. I've, I've done, I put soap on my hands. I put soap on my hands and they got wet. Like, we're fine. Yeah. It's good. Yeah. Um, so I wanted to ask you a question. You are you are the other area of life that you and I interact semi-frequently is the gymnasium. Mm-hmm. You're, you're, yeah. a, you're a gym frequenter. Yeah. Um, do you have... Have you had any bathroom side effects to your gym going experience? Yes. I, okay. <laughs> Do you want to share what, what uh, that looks like or not looks like? Well, or, just, you know, it, just, it, it really, it really, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. So when I first started out, you know, completely yeah. uneducated, but passionate. So I just yeah. gung ho and go for it. Um, I, w- <laughs> I would take like my blender and like, I would throw in like three carrots, you know, um, like fiber overload, just throw, I mean, I would just throw in fruit. Pro- protein powder, you know, like, I mean, it would, and like, I would be drinking on it all day, but boy, oh boy, did it make me gassy. Yeah. Just super gassy. Like just not even, ripping them. I mean, and like the type that like you, the flowers are wilting as you're walking by, like they were awful. In fact, you can ask uh, Chris's wife, Roxanne about it. Oh, I, uh, cause she was not happy about it. Did you hit, did you? Oh, oh dude, all the time. Huh? Cause, cause I'm comfortable at my, my brother's house. So I can just kind of, yeah. Her, Aaron, can you take us outside, please? They smell really bad. Yes, ma'am. You know, like, but I mean, really? Yeah, and it was just because all the way outside. Yeah, yeah, they were that bad because what happens in the blender is it breaks down the fiber. Yeah, so your body doesn't have to really <laughs> doesn't work. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it just <laughs> and anyways, um, <laughs> and then sometimes when I like, I'll do like my uh, C four energy drink oh, yeah. type stuff. Power up. Uh, yeah. It, putting in like too much of a scoop <laughs> yes. like you like if you if you didn't eat right yeah. you know like the day before with good that was you give you the good. bubble guts no it was just oh. it was just a straight up spray and pray <laughs> spray <clears throat> spray shotgun pray that it all goes in the bowl yeah yeah you shotgun you know? the bowl yeah, you're, boom! <laughs> oh gosh well Dude. i feel bad for the people who work at the gym oh yeah. well but yeah. like even even like even anyways yeah even those restrooms it's like they do a really good job of keeping them up for the most part, you yeah. know, um, despite yeah. all the they have to deal with. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Um, anyone? Anyone? <laughs> no. Uh, but, uh, yeah, <laughs> no, you're fine. Um, has it ever hit you like mid lift or mid exercise? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For yeah. sure. Oh, yeah. Like all of a sudden it's like, ooh, I got to drop a deuce. Yeah. And you'll just see, I mean, I'll, I'll, I might be like. You ever try to soldier through and like. Um, it threw a set, yeah. Okay. But never threw a like, or I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, threw a set, but not through a whole exercise. Okay. Like four sets. No, it's like, all right, I'm three in on bench. All right, I'm going to finish up to 12. Right, 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 right. And then go. Okay. And then, <clears throat> but I mean. It's usually the mor- morning grunty, and usually it's... <laughs> the morning grunty. Yeah. Perfect. So the morning... Well, and... and 
I'll be real here. Like the only time that the morning grunty really happens is after the weekend because that's usually when I consume more food and I'm not very yeah, consistent yeah, with my yeah. diet. So it's like usually like I get to the gym, get started, and it's like, okay, yeah, no, we got to pause for the cause. Ooh, so man, the morning grunty. See, my whole situation is not solid enough because you know you got to grunt it out sometimes. Yeah, but I was gonna say like. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbing the side. Why did like, I eat so much cheese? <laughs> you're grabbing the side. <laughs> no more lasagna. <laughs> but no, I was just saying, like, my whole situation is not even solid enough for grunting. It's just like, oh, it goes, man. Yeah, it yeah. just flies. And it's like, man, it's grease lightning down here. Slipped. Boop. Done. Yep. yep. Yeah, no, no. I mean, when, back when I was drinking, it was like, it was, yeah. you know, way a different story. But now that with, with keeping a very consistent diet, I noticed that. Uh, when I overdo it on my proteins, they get a little tough and rough. Yeah. But uh, if I keep a good general balance of everything, yeah. we're dialed. I hardly ever eat fast food. Yeah. But whenever I do, the next day, yeah. my gut's like, hey. Why did you not, do this? That you're not nice anymore. <laughs> we were being, I thought we were being good by a good consistent diet. We are mutually opposed to each other now. Yeah. Um, well, very good. Uh, do you have any other, like, you can, it can be personal bathroom stories or janitorial stories that you want to share. And and I will say what a lot of times happens is I have a bunch of questions I want to ask you. Please keep it. Um, and a lot of times people get like two questions in. They're like, oh, wait. Yeah, I got something. I got something there. Okay. Um, so I'm going to start in on these and you, you feel free to stop me whenever you want. Okay. Um, so the first thing is toilet paper. Okay. Um, at your place, what type of toilet paper do you prefer? Um, brand ply you know all those things what if i have a choice yeah 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 yeah. perfect oh, world oh in a perfect world a pillow okay you know okay. a nice soft super silk pillow okay that what? just just like i mean you, you like like i'm putting a cushion between my cheeks yeah that is just wiping away the negative essence out that i yeah. just need to dispose the of the negative essence very good you know what so. Okay, but is what's the paper that's close? My dad to that? used to call it concentrated evil coming out of my backside. Yeah, so that's fair. Catholics. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. They're yeah. You gotta cast out the devil. Huh? Sorry, I was yeah. Exactly. Did he ever say that? He's like, no, I he didn't. I, just, oh, man, I, was making, I was trying to make a joke on the. Yeah, it's fine. <coughs> yeah, you're good. <coughs> um, so, yeah. So, but, but like. What do you have at your place, though? Do you have like chocolate? Kirkland, Kirkland Signature, perfect. Yeah, that's because it was in bulk and it's, the, it's soft enough for me, but it's not what, too soft. It's yeah. what we use. It's it's. I'm convinced it's like the working man's toilet paper. It's mm-hmm. it's perfect. Yeah, I, it yeah it's, it's, the good, it's a good balance. Yeah, it's not too flimsy, thin, yep. not too thick. Yep, yep. But it doesn't like sandpaper your like cheeks. And, yeah. yeah, it's just like yeah. you get b- blood. No, uh, and then when you have it on the roll. Do you fold it over or under? Over. Over? Yeah. Is that a stark, like, it's yeah. got to be over? Yep. Okay. Why, why do you believe that is the way? Because I don't want to have to use my, because um, it, it, most of the time they're so close to, the, they're, they sit so close to the wall Pr- that when it's under. Please, Jesus, ha- don't say you stub your fingers. I do. D- you are not the first person. Yeah. And, and, I, and, and I it's like, not. I just don't want to have to, like, and also if, like, let's say you just shower, right? Yeah. Well, because of the moisture on the wall, it likes to stick to the wall. Then you got to try to get okay. it off the wall, and you're just like, dude, I'm just trying to walk. That is one of. I'm, I'm just. Mm. That is the the shower wall, or the not the shower wall. The shower and the condensation on the wall is is one of two arguments I've heard that has kind of got me thinking. Okay, maybe over is the way. Yeah, and over you just have to grab and pull. You know, that's just my opinion. But also at the same time, I've like I've had them where like. You had to do one sheet at a time, rotate it, one sheet, See, rotate. See, I hate that. And then that's because the mechanism that's holding it is not twisting. I am opposed to that. So, I just need some toilet paper. Seriously. So, after Moses is done parting the Red Sea, I can just wipe it clean. Yes. You know, get yes. rid of Pharaoh. Get rid of the Pharaoh. <laughs> <laughs> it was pretty good. It was good. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's good. We're gonna uh, get more of them as Aaron. You know, really, like, what you're doing up. is you're giving me all of the weird little hashtags that I'm gonna put at the end of the thing. Good. You're just, you're just, bam, bam, bam. Little jokes. You yeah, know, I just those become stickers in things later. So like, okay, yeah, that's yeah. fine by me. I, yeah. What I gotta do is I gotta find some youth that's really good at drawing and like, I'll probably get, I'll probably get in trouble. Claire. Yeah, can she draw like a pharaoh as a turd? Yeah. Okay, I'll ask her. Okay, cuz pharaoh as a turd. Yeah. Hey, could you draw pharaoh as a piece of poop? 
I'm just worried. I'm wondering how many Egyptian people are going to be mad at that. And what the... I, if anything, I would love it just to have it and post it and say, hey, check out what this teenager did. It's awesome. Um, does she do art? Like, obviously she does because you just said she did. But, like, does she have stuff like... Uh, like artwork that I could show you? Well, like, does she have, like... A lot of kids, like, put it on Instagram or put it online. Does she have anything like no, that? No, no. No, we don't allow her... I, yeah. She can't have a, <clears throat> yeah. a Facebook account or anything like yeah. that until... Until it, it, later. Yeah. No, that's smart. The issue is with... This is just me talking, but uh, the issue is right now is, is that uh, we live in a very dopamine energetic uh, world. Yeah. And dopamine, when it's piled up inside the body, turns into, it turns into cortisol or the stress hormone. So no, you know, because all you need is to get a quick dopamine kick nowadays is flick up on TikTok. Yeah. You know, and you do that enough times, you build up enough dopamine in your body, it turns into the stress yep. hormone inside your body. And why would no I No wonder we have so many kids nowadays who are anxious about everything yeah. and depressed about everything yeah. because the only drug they're getting inside their body is that quick dopamine yeah. kick, not the oxytocin, which yeah. is the bonding hormone, and serotonin, the other bonding hormone yeah. that gets us to come together. Yeah. And so... A lot of these kids do get the bonding hormone, but they are, it is not in a productive way. I will say that. Sn- yeah, that too. They're snoshing and s- smashing and With, all the other things. Uh, it's like, can we stop it now? Yeah. Um, yeah, sorry. So you're an overman. I'm what? You're an overman. Uh, I was overman, told it's like a sure. beard, whatever. Um, okay. Let's, you, I'm, I'm, what this is, I'm slowly building data. Yeah, no problem. Um, because I, I'm convinced it doesn't matter. Like, I'm truly convinced. I, I'm, I'm chaos. When it comes to toilet paper roll, it's chaos theory. As long as I land it on the roll, it's fine. I've done it. it I've made it. It can be, it can be backwards. It, but, like, that's my... That's where I I'm got at. you. That's okay. where I'm at. Yeah, yeah. And Anna, like, she is very much with you, like, over only. Uh, if, I will fix it if you screw this yeah, up. Yeah, I will. I, Not a doubt. Wild. Yeah, I... You know, it, you know, because that's just the way. You know, what's easiest for me. You know, I'm, I'm so. an absolute like toilet paper agnostic. I'm just like, if we do under at school, the kids wouldn't even be able to. They would have to reach up and under with poopy hands. Why? Why? why you know, why, to pull it out. Why are so their that's hands? why. That's another. Dude, yeah. elementary school students, man. <laughs> like, we, there we have a kid. We literally oh. have a kid over at Sunrise Elementary School no. where he pees on the side of the toilet. Not inside, even though he's standing right next to it. Oh, you want another good custodial one? So <laughs> see, I told you uh, they just keep coming, ooh, dude. Uh, like I, I, I'm, I will curse on this one. I, you know, I, <laughs> Jesus has already forgiven me. I already know that. So like, I, I'm, that doesn't give me permission, but like I'm giving myself permission to do this. But um, last year, when I first started as a head custodian, during the weekend, I went and covered three different events at West Albany High School. Yeah. There was a play going on. There was two dance competitions going on in the gyms, and there was um a uh what do you call it uh track and field going okay. on right yeah i just got done cleaning out uh, out at the stadium right the bathroom yeah. doors that exit out there and i'm not kidding you i got a radio call 10 minutes later somebody took a <laughs> in on the floor on the floor and i go in like That's okay no so, so i go in there and i clean it and it's still warm in my hand as i'm picking it up you know because you can't do it with a broom and dustpan or else you're gonna have to hose all that <laughs> off and everything yeah better to just have the glove and i'm just like my first thought is like, dude, and, and literally it was in the ADA stall, also known as Americans yep, with Disabilities yep, yep. Act, um, and it, just to the side of that, you know, yeah. on the inside of the stall, just to the side of the toilet. And it's like, that's dumb. I, okay. Can <laughs> somebody, what is me. going on in your head and your heart? Do you think that, yeah. Hey, <laughs> you know, was it, were, were you actually in a wheelchair and you just didn't quite make it? Okay. I get it. Yeah. I get it. That stinks. You know, but, literally. and it did stink it really, <laughs> figuratively and literally. Yeah. Man, so that's yeah. I was so. <laughs> that's when you just start doing the breathing exercises. And that was a sixteen-hour day that day. Oh, perfect. That's you know? what, that's usually when you want that to happen. Right. Um. Man, that's crazy. And then like I can t- I already can see like the yeah. bloggers right now. Aaron, I have heard of situations just like that. Cry me a river. Yeah. They, Cry yeah, me a river. You know. I. Yeah. We'll see what they, they'll uh, chill out. But that's the one thing is there's lots of people they get. You know, it's whatever. Yeah, yeah. 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 <clears throat> um, Next. In, in your, what do you, when it comes to soap, and like I'm thinking in the shower specifically, are you a bar soap or a liquid soap lab? Bar. Bar? Bar. Yeah. What, t- what bar are we using? Um, anything that's going to be as natural as possible. Okay. Preferably. Yeah. 
Right. Uh, the reason being is that the, there are certain cultures that your skin makes that, yeah. that, that your body can thrive on. Interesting. Yeah. Huh. My so opinion. My so. opinion. Because like it, it was the same thing with COVID. If yeah. we sanitize everything completely and make it perfectly, nothing is alive in there. The moment one germ gets in there, it's yep. going to grow big time. Dude, so it's the same thing with the human body. Well, all these kids are sick all the time now. It's like... Yeah. And it's because they are overly sanitized. Yes. Part of the reasons why there are certain oils on our fingers and stuff that allow us to be able to eat chips and stuff like that yeah. so that we're less likely to get diseases. We've got... In our saliva, we have... Um, uh, I don't know what the word is, but like bacteria. natural the nat, uh, natural bacteria yeah. that help us, you know, yeah. fight off diseases yeah. and stuff. Same thing with the gut. And, made that way, you know. We're, yeah, we're made that way. So it's like, and if you choose to not be exposed to it at all, the <laughs> moment any of it comes by, yeah. it, it's going to be a problem. Yeah. Take you take a knife to a to, to a tree. Yeah. It's going to take a while for you to saw yeah. through it. But yeah. if you take a knife to a piece of paper, you'll cut through it real easily. Right. 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 So. Um, Metaphor. With the bar soap. Metaphors. Do you ever, do you ever, have you ever carved a message in the bar soap? No. Okay. I mean, yeah, okay, so yeah, I mean, I, I, I made a dick on one when I was like a kid. <laughs> well, did know? Chris find it? No, no one did. It was, it was. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Well, I mean, if somebody did, they found a penis I'm, on I'm, the bar soap. I'm confident. I'm confident. It was to remind myself to what, what part of the body it washes. Yeah. I, <laughs> I'm confident that I'll have Chris back on. Yeah. And so now I'm going to just remind him of this and see what we, what we get. Um, it was, I mean, it was with my fingernail when I was a kid, you know. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Put the bar soap on. No, 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 no. Chris did. Oh, he Chris did. used to do this, too. Oh. He said he drew, quote, rocket ships, quote, unquote, yeah. on the bar soap. So you and him both. <laughs> We're just nerdy dudes. You guys are both just drawing... Little peen Balance. beans. <laughs> Little peen um, beans. What is your What is your opinion on baths? How do you feel about baths? They're an essential part. Uh, I specifically taking a bath over a shower. What? Just depends on what you want. What, what each yeah. individual wants. Okay. You know? um, what about you? With, with what do you want? Circumstances. Tell me what you want. Uh, <laughs> for time, a shower. Okay. Um, if I can have the luxury and I've already de- – there's certain preliminary things that, that have got to happen yeah, if so it's going to be me. bad. Tell, explain that to me. One, i got to have a little bit of Barry White playing okay. and some candles. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, <laughs> no, no. It's, uh, I, I was going to also say Michael Bolton, you know. Like, <laughs> How am I supposed to live without you? While I have my bowl of Cheerios and – you know, that's another thing. That's been a trend recently. Eat while you're in the bathtub. Oh, I'm, don't worry. What? We're getting there. Okay. Oh, um, oh yeah. <laughs> but um, I, I guess as long as... If, 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 uh, Milk in the Cheerios I, too, huh? I, I don't know. Some people like... I don't know. I was just throwing a food out there, you know. Okay. Somebody give me my charcuterie board while I'm in the bathtub. <laughs> The wine moms, yeah. Um, so you're, but you're okay with shower, baths. Shower, I'm probably, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely okay with them because really? they are incredibly healing. Oh man, the, I, the issue is that a lot of people forget is one, don't eat before you get, in, don't no. But I've always what eaten. happens is all the blood goes to the outside of your body, and so like not outside of your body, but to the far edges of your yeah, body, yeah. And so you're not, it's not allowing it to to aid in digestion. So you just consumed yeah. all this food, and your body's going we. <laughs> need to digest this. And then all the blood's not where it needs to be. Yeah, exactly. Ah, so you I ever didn't... notice you eat some food and you get cold? That's because all the blood is going into your core to help digest the food. You'll notice your arms and your legs get a little colder after you eat? Sometimes. Yeah. I'm always warm, though. Like, yeah, me, all... you and me both. That's why I'm always yeah. in shorts. Yeah, same. You know? Yep. Unless it's, like, real cold outside. Right. Um... Or I got an interview. Yeah. I got, Or I got to look like I'm important. <laughs> <laughs> look like look like I should be in charge of something. Yeah. Um, do you have any bathroom pet peeves other than people just taking a dump next to the toilet, and <laughs> completely missing the toilet? Any bathroom pet? Yeah, peeves? like specifically like in at a home, like oh, for, or or for could sure. even growing up like sharing a bathroom with Chris, like dunk on him a little bit. That's fine. Yeah. He's a grown man. He can deal with it. Quit breaking the seats. No. Yeah. Um, did he really? No. Oh. I have no idea if he did or not. Um, I don't. I did way too many drugs in my twenties to remember something that specific. <laughs> Um, <laughs> um, 
no, no. I just I remember like as a, just as a kid growing up, like I, there was a, on more than one occasion, my brother had to show me his turd because he was proud of it. Yes. You know, it's like praise him. Is that a congratulations? Peeve? Is that a peeve to you? Is like I don't want to see it. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Same thing with you blow his nose and be like, look, no. I don't well, want that to, one's different. You know, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want you to blow your nose in my face. See, I um, can I can understand the turd thing. Yeah, but I, he, he would go like... <laughs> yeah, and then like a couple books come out. He's like, look. That's dude, weird. Dude, why? That's weird. I don't know. He is hey, weird. Chris, if you hear this, you're, that was weird. You, you shouldn't were, have done that. You should have passed on that one. No, it's all good. He, he's he's going to do it to me kids. now the next time he hears me. Here's, you don't even have to put it in the podcast, right? That's um, wild. Oh, no, it's going. Uh, nothing against... Just my mom would be... Yeah, she, I remember one time, she's like, Aaron, this is the last time I'm asking you, wipe your pee-pee off the seat. <laughs> yes. And I'm like, yeah, mom. Every little boy. Every one. It's every single one. Every single one. I told Silas, it's like, son, the goal is to have no one see your pee. That's the goal. Yeah. You're the only one that needs to see it. So if you miss... Totally fine. You're going to miss. Just wipe it all up. Yep. Just clean it up. Wipe it up. The goal is to have no one ever see it. Okay. Yeah, we recently had um, a lockdown drill at Kalapuya. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, some of the students had to go into the boys' bathroom. That was great. They destroyed the stall walls and broke the handle. Because that's where they were during the drill? During the lockdown, yeah. Because they had to go inside of a room, so they chose the bathroom. It was, it was oh got awful. Gosh. I was, Why would they not just like say, nope, come in the room, come yeah, in the class. Yeah, like, come in the classroom, you would think. But I mean, you said something about Cheerios in the bath. Yeah. Now, that's not, is that you specifically? I would, no, I was making, you, a, uh, I was painting a picture. Do you, ever, do you ever have a snack in the bathroom? It can be on the toilet. Do you ever no. do toilet snack, toilet drink? Nope. Okay. No, never. Never? No, like, do you, have you ever eaten anything on the toilet? I mean, no, not that I can think of. Really? You should, yeah. You should give it a shot. It's it's an experience. No. It's it's an experience. No. It's worth it. No. There's something about the... You know, the I, I, I get the premise of it. I get the premise of it. But that's a that's a solid no. I mean, like rock hard, like Dwayne Johnson hard rock no. Yeah. So it, Speaking of him, I did smack him on the butt and you could say I hit rock bottom. <laughs> the, do the middle schoolers love those jokes no they don't really? they usually look at me and roll their eyes my yeah. favorite joke is picking up a carrot because they love to throw carrots pick them up and be like hey do you know where this came from carrot to talk about it <laughs> stretcher yeah. than stretch armstrong yeah. i know yeah i know yeah. Uh, but it you know it's, it's fine what about the shower you ever have a you ever have a snack or a drink in the shower beer yeah yeah oh yeah shower beer was awesome okay. you ever, somebody told me that when i was like 33 or 4 and i was like a shower in the beer or a beer in the, a beer in the shower i mean people do that too where they and, like, and he's like yeah shower you should try it. It. huh and i'm like okay i'll give it a yeah. try my, eh. I mean, I mean, it's just like having a beer. You, know? you but, you're, but like, there's okay. So I'm a big fan of the seltzers. I know, I know, like the polar seltzers, like Lacroix. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know which ones you're talking about. But that one of those in the shower is so good because like, I don't think I had a sweet beer. I think at the time I was having high gravity. Okay. So it's like it's like tart, but also oh man, it just hits perfect in the shower. It's like the hot and cold. Just oh man, it's so good. Mm-hmm. Um, no snacks in the shower, though, huh? No. Uh-uh. Really? No. Never. I highly recommend a popsicle. A sna- I could see a popsicle being awesome. I highly recommend a popsicle. I think that could be popsicle. super awesome. The other thing- but also, at the same time, like, uh, I'm in there to do a job, not, you know, like... Oh, I'm but getting ready to... Maybe, it's a, maybe that'll be a, a proper time to start learning I'm, to goof off. I'm getting ready to tell you a few things about showers. I'll be honest with you. If I start goofing off in the shower... It's not a good idea. That's fair. Well, but so, <laughs> so have you ever, and I know the answer, but I have to ask it. Well, no, I don't have to ask it. I'm going to say it. So you, you've never eaten anything in the shower. Would you be willing? Does, nope. 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 Uh, would you be what? willing? That would be an awesome <laughs> joke. Would you be Come w- on. Jeez. <laughs> you know, you'd get you get 30,000 new listeners just for that joke. Because I, I shouldn't put this on here but I'm doing it anyways. Cuz that's that's what it would You knew exactly what I was going to say, huh? <laughs> you do. Yep. Yep. <laughs> we're not, um, have you ever would you ever eat an orange in the shower as if it's an apple? Now, 
it's a whole, it's a thing that it's like a it's like an exactly. internet thing. But like instead of like eating the plug of the orange, okay. you just take the globe peeled and just like an apple in a shower. In the shower because there's juice and it goes everywhere. But you're in the shower, so there's no consequence. To you these know actions. that that I mean. I, I mean, if it was something like that or pineapple or something that was already cut yes, and ready yes, to go yes, and water ready to eat. Yeah, something that was really watery. Yes. I could see it would be perfectly acceptable. See, I yeah. highly recommend it. I mean, and it would make sense that it would feel really good because then you would have the cold flavor sensation in your mouth and going down your belly. And then like, but the warmth from the, you know, the shower on Dude, you. Dude, you could do like eternal ramen where you just start eating ramen, but it keeps like refilling no. because of the wet. No. In the hot wet. I mean, I get it. I, I, I get that. I get the premise of it, but no, no. What? You know how wrinkly your skin would get after about an hour of that? No, but like you just eat the until the ramen's gone. Uh, but then like, oh, okay. it, but it keeps refilling the bowl, so you just keep souping up the water. Yeah, you just get more soup in there. You just okay. oh man, it'd be diluted by the end. But yeah, it would be just water yellow. I wonder if you could looking. get. I wonder if you could get shower water hot enough to make ramen. I've got full ADHD attack right now. It's coming. Um, probably not. Dang. I mean, unless you turned up your water heater up to like 140, you know. Hey, we can make that happen. We can. Um, modern technology, dude. I think about our ancestors. Like, what was like a shower for them? You they, know, like only when it did. rained, or would they just like go in the river and they, just? They didn't. They would take like would get like a bucket sometimes, or like a pot, and pour it over themselves. But it was mostly river waterfall if you were lucky to find one. Oh wow! I think. Wow. Um, have you ever have you ever taken a dark shower? A shower with the lights off. Yeah. 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 What What are your thoughts? Um, it makes you well because the lights are out, and if it's dark enough, like there's no window or something, um, you definitely lose your perception of where you are in space proprioception i have no idea oh. but and, yeah um uh and then just trying to find the things in the dark was pretty okay you know um but it definitely kind of heightened those other senses of listening yeah, yeah. You know, like i, I like it because it helps me wake up like when it's if you're taking a morning shower for mm -hmm. sure it's like the first thing in your day is not a light it's like i get the shower process in while it's still dark in here and there's okay. like a nightlight, so you, there's a little bit, but okay. like, you know, man, I live that's, for the that's, dark shower. Wow, well, that's, that's a, I'll have to try that. Well, I really can't yeah, my, right now, but, uh, cause the light switch is the fan. And oh, you sacrifice that. Yeah. That's pretty, I mean, if it's like a, a one-time thing, yeah, I can yeah, do yeah. it. Yeah. Um, and then, and then not the last shower question, but a very important one. Have you ever performed a waffle stomp? No. Do you know what a waffle stomp is? No. Very good. I will explain it and then I'll ask the question again. Sometimes people come around to knowing once they're like, oh, okay, yeah, I've done that. Um, it's where you poop into the bottom of the shower. No. And then you just curb stomp that bad boy right down no. the drain. Never performed one Never. of those. Really? That's disgusting. Would, okay. Would you <laughs> perform? No. <laughs> that, okay. that, no. Follow-up question B. There are two, there are three... Schools of thought. That was hard. No, there's three schools of thought. I have. We're not going to get into what I've done. Um, there's three schools of thought. <laughs> okay. Your brother's done one, by the way. I'm just going to say that he performed a stomp. He said he did. So you'll have to have a come to Jesus. No, I, I, I'll let him. I'll. He'll tell me all about it in heaven. I'm sure. I don't need to hear about it here. Okay. So there's three schools of thought about when you got to go to the bathroom in the shower. We're not to pee yet. This is solids. You can either get out, hit the toilet, and then I assume you get back in because you got to re... I think you got to rewash, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. Or... That's one. Or you can waffle stomp. Mm -hmm. And the third... And, and to me, that is the better of that or option three which there are these groups of people and i've never met a person so if you're the first you will be the first who who they catch it like they poo and they catch the turd and then they throw it in the toilet when they're done no and to me that is five that's like five steps worse than a waffle stomp uh i'm no i'm no i have not done that at all but would you if you would you rather stomp it than throw it like or sit 
or get out and do your business. Oh, I know you're going to get out and do your business. Yeah, like yeah. That. Oh, okay. If I had the choice between the two, yeah. catch it. Really? Yeah. Why? Why? You're interfacing with it too much then. That's Because then I'm not having to stomp it down the drain that it's may... It's not as bad as you think. ...that may get plugged. Um, and uh, it, going down in the sewer system, I, I don't know, I just... I don't know. I, I would probably. I, I don't know. Honestly, I, I'll have to give it a try one day. I'm hey, sure when I'm at 65, I there there will be a moment where I need to I, do that. I shouldn't have done those anal beads when I was 25. I've, I've um, I've brought my total up to three for for my life so far. That's not true. I'm not. Yeah, oh yeah, not the beads. Uh, I. I've brought my total stompings up to three. I'm zero. At, I'm at three stomps. Um, I, I, I'm hoping I can keep it to a zero with the cupping and the sometimes, stomping. Sometimes diarrhea is real bad, though. Like, uh, well, I mean, after I've done my bit, the, the after I've exploded the toilet, then I'll jump in the shower and. No, but have you ever down. been in the shower and you can't make it? That's what no. I'm saying. Really? No. I've had it, man. I've done Ooh. it, and it's. I like, mean, I could see like like if you're like at a dorm or something where the showers are separate from the toilets, and you're like. Uh, yeah. I mean, and if I was at the gym in the showers and like I, I, it was just happening, or like I thought it was a fart, you know, yeah. like then I, then I, I, I wouldn't. I know the difference between when it's going to be wet or if it's going to be hard. I think you got to let it ride, though. Like once it starts, I think you let go full in, like you just commit. That's uh, where I'm at. Like uh, you fully let load on that shower floor. Uh, then I'd probably stomp it. Then you're just river stomping the the life. River out of stomp. It. Um, river stomp. <laughs> <laughs> you just do a little jig. Um, what what bathroom establishment does you the dirtiest? Like like when you eat this place, you know you're signing up for a bathroom excursion the following morning. Really? So like most people, they're like, oh, if I eat Taco Bell, it's game over the next day. Like I'm I'm oh over. as far as food. Yeah 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 yeah. Who who does you the dirtiest? Oh, he's he's locked the dirtiest. In. Yeah, like who who uh, just fouls dude, your whole situation up? So I, 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 while you think I would I have can, to say an over like I would mm, like where it's explosive diarrhea type. Well, thing? just I mean it's just bad. Like for me, it's Applebee's. Like every, I get Applebee's wings. I never learn. I don't learn my lesson. I refuse to learn my lesson. I'll get Applebee's wings. You eat like six to eight wings. Does not fail. Tummy ache at two a.m. Cannot. I'll, I'll go to the bathroom like four times in an hour. Really? Yeah. Every time. Ah uh, man, I've I'm, I've got a pretty. I'm, I'll be real here. I've got a pretty iron stomach with most things. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but if what I have noticed for me is anything any meats that are meats. overcooked that okay. are, that have the black on them, the charcoal on them. Oh, interesting. Yes. Every that single time. Yes, every time. Mm. The next day, I go to sit down and I'm thinking, uh, or it's one of those like, is this a shit or a fart? Yeah. You know, one of those. Yeah, and, and sometimes you get the combo deal and you're right. like, well, I got to go outside real quick. Today. Yeah, like one of them, like over the weekend, it was like we had a good steak that was charred good. And yeah. Went in in, the, in that morning and it was boom, you know, was like, oh, wow. And then like not even 10 Father minutes later, you know, Father it was like. forgive me. Yeah, another one. Boom. That's and crazy. it's anything that's super charred. Yeah. Uh, meat wise but I think and it makes sense as See, that's far as how the that's interesting because like so. I'm, I'm almost like meat meat's good even if like even if it's got some char on it I'm I'm fine yeah. meat for me it's fruit like anything that's got too much fruit involved I'm like yeah if I have a di- so it, when it comes to diet if, if I have an overabundance of fruit everything slides out nice and easy if, if I have too much yeah. protein based foods it's coming out like a brick you know, really? and, and like, like, little, it'll sink to the bottom of it, <laughs> literally. You know, like, oh, dude, did I? Was that a lead brick? Um, oh, you get the mermaid kiss back there. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, sometimes that's kind of nice. Like, like if you got like if, if the roids are flaming pretty hard, you know, little splishy splash. We're here. You know, how often? <laughs> how often are they flaming? You know, not not often. I was just. I don't, not real. Sometimes but. people who lift a lot, they get them bad. It, yeah, it's because they're pushing. Yeah. And they, like that's the other thing is people push when they poop and you're not supposed to. you got to just let it glide out. Yeah, you push sometimes when you, you got to push though. You know, I mean, sometimes you do. A, a gentle push is okay, but you when you're breathe. all like putting like 
I don't know, the force it took God to make the sun into yeah. like pushing out that grunty. They're sweating. Mm-hmm. They're sweating it out. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and well, if you have, and if you take pills like uh, yeah, pain, pain yeah, pills, yeah, 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 yeah. it can make your poops real hard. Yeah. So because um, when I had my wisdom teeth removed, oh my god. Yeah. It was the worst pain ever. I felt like I was. I mean, I don't even know what it's like giving birth, but if it's ten times worse than that. I'm sorry, ladies. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. You had to do that for 28 hours to give birth to me? Yeah. Or who? you know what? Yeah. No, some of them longer, man. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, that's oh. wild. Oh. Um, just cut it out of me at that point. <laughs> uh, well, that's all my, that's all my questions. Mm. Um, mm. The last thing that I always ask before closing is if you have any bathroom wisdom that you want to leave people with, just... Aaron Luckman's bathroom wisdom for for good bathrooming and good living. For good living? Yeah, just you know, what are what are your recommendations when it comes to the bathroom? Don't talk to me. Okay. If we're, if we're in a public bathroom, shut the fuck up, do your business and move on. No. Excuse me. <laughs> Just went for the big grumpy on it. Uh, <laughs> dude, dude, I'm here to do my business. I'm not here to have a conversation Fair. about your cat. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, not in this moment. The, right, dude. Like, if we're comparing, like, if it's about comparing junk and that's what yeah. you want to do, like. No like, thanks. Hey, here it is. Okay. Uh, do you feel satisfied? I, okay. Okay, cool. Bye. So, so no. You know, like, I like I just No don't. fireside chats through the bathroom wall. Yeah, no. Okay. Just, or even if, if you're here at this sink and like I pass or, you, or I'm at this sink and you pass by, it's just do your thing. Wait until we're out of the bathroom. Yes, got please. It. Got, it. got it. Okay. Please. So keep it Fine. quiet. Yeah. Keep you know, because sometimes, sometimes the only way the groundhog comes out yeah. is if it's quiet. Yeah. You the know? prairie dog will find his you way. You know, because some people are got the bladder shy, anal shy, you know. Dude, I kinda... am the opposite. I'm like, I'm like bladder and anal excited. Oh, wow. You're like, yeah. watch guys, his IP. Dude, I like, the, one of the ladies I work with, she's all time saying like, I cannot poop in outside my home like yeah and i'm like oh like that give me a five gallon bucket and i'll do it wherever i mean if 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 it push comes to shove if push comes to shove and you're in the moment and you're somewhere like there's no bathroom accessible a bush uh a bucket you know like a storm drain you know like whatever i mean whatever's nearby what's aaron doing he's squatting over the storm drain again he (laughs) toilet's clogged inside (laughs) he he couldn't make it again (laughs) That's the running thing. You know, I just couldn't make it again. Oh, my god! There was one time, though, when I was working recently, like, yeah. Tori showed up and, you know, it was one of them sharts and sprayed, sprayed, uh, some, you know, liquid all over on the inside of my shorts. I looked at her and I was like, I just sharted. I'm going to go home. She's yeah. like, she started cracking up laughing. She's like, you do that. That's funny. She'll tell you that story. I'm That's sure. funny. <laughs> I was um, standing there getting my car ready and he <laughs> himself. <laughs> Is okay on your podcast or is poop? I I I it's not. No, that's definitely that one. So I have a beep. I have a sensor. You'll you'll hear it. I'll oh, I'll okay. censor the things I need. Okay. Um, I censor those ones out. Um, you're not the first. Oh, okay. you know Wehrman yeah, yeah. at the high school. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah he he. Oh, and if any of you other teachers out there, if you see me and you start the conversation with that weather. Go f*** yourself. No, no. I don't care no. about the weather. No. I care about you. No. Um, we're almost done. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just, <laughs> I feel free to be just Aaron right Hey, it's now. good. That's yeah. good. That's what I want. Um, it's if, fine with me. If anybody out there is truly offended, I'm going to repeat myself. Go f- yeah, no, I did. so I didn't, again, I didn't say it. Literally, are you proud of me? After I mean, I am. After yeah. today, no one will even know. Yeah. Um, because I have this swell little deep thing that goes in there. And, oh, sweet! And sometimes I put it in when people don't say a bad word because yeah. it's funny. That is, it is funny. <laughs> I just watched. Oh, so when I was a kid growing up, I watched Boondocks. Yeah, yeah. The show, right? Yeah. And it was censored. Well, it's not censored on TV. You know, oh, or on. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. And so like they're just dropping them left and yeah. right, and I'm like. Holy cow! I never yeah. realized how often they dropped the end bomb. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, like Uncle Ruckus. Yeah, I love oh that guy. Gosh. He's hilarious. That show was wild. It was. It um, was. It was like they took every stereotype and then like times it. You know, yeah. like I think that it, it was almost satirical in a sense. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Yeah. But. Well, I'm gonna close this down. Um, thank you for being here thank in you. this bathroom. Great show. with me. Yeah. Um, thank you all for listening. Uh, you can 
send us an email. You guys already know the email. I'm not going to do all the weird things because I always feel like a dog taking a dump in the backyard when I have a guest on the show and I do the things at the end. But this has been another episode of Privy. Thank you so much for listening. Breathe more. Pray more. Push less. Pray more. Don't talk to Aaron through the stall. And now, as always, and I always have to do the weird maneuver to do this whenever we're live and in person. Okay. Don't forget to flush. We're going to get the urinal on this one. Really get her in there. Oh, so hot.